So your Google My Business profile has been suspended and you have no idea how to get it back. You've either received this email or you've received this message when you go and try and look at your listing. Take a deep breath and relax because I'm going to show you how to get this back. In this video, we're going to go over a few different reasons why you might have been suspended and how to avoid this. Now let's get into some of the reasons why your listing may have been suspended. So the most common reason your Google My Business listing was probably suspended is because of the business name. If the business name is not real and you're adding extra keywords to rank on Google, then this is why Google suspended you. They understand that this is not a real business name and that you're trying to utilize keywords to outrank competitors. So for this example, what you would end up doing is you'd have to change the name to the real business name and then go in and submit an appeal to get your Google My Business listing reinstated. The second most common reason why your business listing was probably suspended is because your address violates Google's terms and conditions. So this means you either used a PO box or a virtual office and Google does not like this. They wanna make sure that you're actually utilizing an actual address that you're allowed to use that is not a PO box a post office or some sort of virtual office. The third reason and one of the ones I see the most is actually displaying your address. If we are a service-based business, which you normally are when you do junk removal, you're actually going to people's houses and servicing them at their homes rather than at your office, then you should not be displaying an address on Google. You should actually only show a service area. Now I know it's tempting to display your address, but unless you actually have commercial space such as a storefront, you're not allowed to do this in Google's eyes. Sometimes you can get away with it for some time, but then it'll always catch up to you and your Google My Business listing will be suspended if you're utilizing your home office. So in order to get this listing reinstated, you would have to go into your Google My Business listing settings, remove the address and change it to a service area listing. This is basically just showing the areas that you service instead of the actual physical address. So the fourth reason this might have happened to you is because you made too many business listing changes all at once, such as changing the phone numbers, hours of operation, address, name of business, those key things, if you think about it, a lot of businesses don't change those very often. So as soon as you change too many of them all at once, Google becomes suspicious. So you're gonna have to go through the appeal process to get your listing back as well. The fifth reason this may have happened to you is because you say that you operate 24 hours when in fact you don't. Make sure that you actually have correct business hours because Google does know when a business does not likely operate 24 hours a day. The sixth reason why you might have been suspended is because you have multiple listings associated with the same business name in order to rank in multiple parts of town. If this is the case, you're gonna to have to have the actual evidence to support this, the DBAs, and showing that none of these service areas actually overlap each other. So something to note here is that Google has changed the way that you submit appeals. Now they're really pushing for you to submit the appeals with proper documents, whether that's tax information, business license, and some sort of paperwork from the state that shows that you're a real business with the right name at the right address. And they wanna make sure that when you submit it, that um, you're ready to show them the documents. This means that they actually have a countdown on the screen that is counting down 60 minutes and that's all the amount of time you have in order to submit these documents. So please do not start an appeal unless you have those documents handy on your computer and ready to upload. You only get one chance at doing this, so make it count. Make sure that you have all the right paperwork in order to submit an appeal. I hope this information was helpful. I know a lot of you guys are struggling with these business listings being suspended. I feel like it's happening a lot more and a lot more often these days. If you for some reason cannot utilize this and to get your listing back and you still need help recovering your listing, please reach out to me at 503-914-7250 or visit junkremovalmoney.com and send us an email. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.